here a dead hive that didn't make it through winter and I'm gonna open it up and see if there's any honey that I can harvest. The honey in my location crystallizes over winter so it's kind of hard to get so I'm going to see if my honey heater will be able to heat it up and decrystallize it so that I can extract it. Here I'm taking a little sample and tasting it. Mm, tastes pretty good. So I'll just keep going through this hive and pull frames of fully capped honey. And here it is, I got a box of it, and I'm setting that on the honey heater. And if you want to know how I made this honey heater, you can check out this video in the top right corner. And then I'm going to put an empty box on because I actually want to decrystallize a quart of honey for my own eating purposes. And I have a Raspberry Pi set up so that I can monitor the temperature of the honey heater. And that's the temperature sensor right there. Now I put the lid on and turn it on. And I'm using a kilowatt to monitor the energy going into the honey heater. And here is what the temperature looks like. It took a few hours to get up to temperature. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, why is he only heating it up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit? And the reason is because I don't really like heating honey much at all. And this certainly can't be marketed as raw. By my definition, raw honey is honey that hasn't been heated higher than 95 degrees. So that's why I'm only heating it to 110. So now I've decided that the honey has been heated enough and it actually stayed on the honey heater for quite a while. And by a while, I mean a few weeks. And here I'm going to decap it or take off the wax cappings off of the honey. And I use a decapping fork for that. So this is actually kind of a labor-intensive process. This wax is kind of tough. And here's what the honey looks like. So most of it is liquid, but you can see some cloudiness in it, and that is honey that never really decrystallized. And I put the frames into the extractor, and I'm spinning it up. And that's what a frame looks like after I've spun it. You can see that quite a bit of the honey came out of the frames. 
And here I'm running it through my honey screen. So we'll let this honey filter through the screen. What you doing there, Kit? Hmm? So, I would actually say this was a lot of work for not that much honey. I don't know if I'll do this in the future. You can see that I use 17 kilowatt hours over 640 hours, and that's about 27 days. And here's the honey that I got from that. Hey, do you like these videos? Subscribe. I'll make more. Bye.